Welcome back, Sports Tonight, on your award-winning sports-loving channels television. We are taking a look at what's going on right there at the Africa Youth Games. And I want you to talk to us because, you know, and when we deal with the grassroots, I don't just want us to leave it with the Ministry for Youth and Sports or the Federation or the Sports Council. It's, it's all of us because if a 13-year-old boy or girl is in urges because mommy and daddy gave us some support, right? If a 16-year-old guy is doing so well in school and the games masters are saying you can do it, you can become the next Usain Bolt, that games master is also doing his bit. So you see, at the grassroots, it's collective efforts. We are all involved. So that's why I want you to tell us ways that we can keep those athletes. There are about 250. Uh, tomorrow, the games will end in all. Just when they come back, what will they be doing? So let's talk to Ministry for Youth and Sports. Let's tell them programs, things that they can do to keep those athletes busy. I want to read from you tonight on Twitter, channels underscore sports, Facebook channels, Life in Sports. So send us an email to sports tonight at channels tv.com. After the colleague we still with us uh, today, uh, we got that it was warm, it was emotional statement from Carly Keme that is quitting international football. I'm just going to uh, quote uh, what, what it says. And every day, someone has asked me how I am for all year. It's incredible to think people actually care so much that they will do fundraisers in my name. We don't just care for you, Carl. We love you. And when he was diagnosed for leukemia, it was at a time we really needed him, Alfred. But good thing Nigeria qualified for the World Cup. He was named as an honorary member of the squad. Uh, but Carly came out quitting now. You would wish he had some more playing time. Unfortunately, it had to end this way. Uh, but you could just um, thank God for him. He set the benchmark the template for us to really qualify was that fantastic result we had in Indola. Incidentally, that was his last game for the Super Eagles. Wow. Um, um, that see us cross the line with a win. I just laid the marker for, for, for the Super Eagles. Um, the team eventually progressed to play in the World Cup. It's a shame that he's um, quitting now. We, we thought that we could, we could get like four or five years yeah. more. The assurance that he brings to, you know, to, to, to the field, right? he's a fantastic guy. He just tells you what football really can do. The outpouring of emotion, the level of support that he's, he's received from around the world, mm -hmm. not just from Nigeria. Awesome. And the way Nigerians appreciate what yeah. he's been able to do for mm -hmm. us. Because this is somebody that, hey, he's not under any um, obligation to really uh, come here. But he just felt that there was need for him to contribute his quarter. And that quarter, I can tell you, was really, really a big, 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 fantastic right. contribution mm. to our qualification to the World Cup. Because it's, it's as important as that. It was the start of the qualifiers, mm. and then it came out big. It's a big guy. They came out big for us. Like you could tell, you could see his commitment whenever he's, he's doing business for Nigeria. So Kali Keme uh, today confirmed his retirement from professional football. Um, um, uh, after a long battle with acute leukemia, you know, and so uh, Carly Kemmer uh, capped 10 times, and what I told you was named uh, an honorable 24th player in the Nigeria squad at the recent uh, World Cup. <sighs> Anyhow, you want to look at it, he defeated this, this disease because of this, the level of love he got, not just from fans. But from everybody around him, no doubt he won. He won, he won the war. Um, if you ask me, he won the war, and um, he's remained faithful to the club, and the club remained committed mm. to him. Even named him for the new season. At the mm. time, they were oh, <laughs> remain. Awesome. You know, just that it just shows that level of commitment. Kept over two hundred them um, times for for Wolves. Uh, that is only club um, that he's kept uh, professionally, and uh, it's good. It just it just tells you the kind of. The kind of person he is mm. is somebody that is really, really committed. Yeah. Uh, uh, a gently perfect gentleman, and uh, I think the the way he's carried himself in all of this, he's no time for pity party. Yeah. No time for pity yeah. party. Just the next thing is looking for charity. Mm -hmm. Things in the community can, that he can That's support right. where he can because he can himself very very yeah. lucky, you know, to f he find oh, himself man. in this position and that thing is diagno diagnosed. I, I mean, the education now now people can really fight this. I, I mean, because you never know, you never know. You see, footballers just drop 
I would say, what happened? He would say, oh, someone just, oh, just complained of his head and he dropped. So because of the training and everything, let's just, we should even be grateful that he was diagnosed of this disease and now uh, he's, he's on his way towards full recovery. Someone is asking why is Carly Kemen quitting just now? Let me read what Carly Kemen said in that statement. He said, I spoke with the doctor and he suggested I should retire because of the toll the treatment has taken on my body. He added, he thinks that it's best for me and I can't really risk trying to come back. My health is priority. Because footballers go through a lot of rigorous exercises. Fitness is very important. So with what he has gone through with his body, ah, doctor said, no, no, you can't go back. For, for, for an athlete uh, that wants to win, you want to be in very, very good condition to Top do it. Sure. And not a question of uh, have measure. Let me just see if I can manage it. No, um, I think health is... Um, is the taking care of himself is the best thing that he can do for yeah. himself and his family at yeah. this point and so I, I think we just have to support him and um, wish him the best in his uh, future endeavors who says that um, there is uh, and you know what thing about football football finds a way of taking care of its own yeah yes a thousand and one thing that he can do in, in football presently i'm sure that um with uh, focus because the world when, is at his feet alfred because when these things happen we just we just want we, we're so happy that he didn't take the life of the person fabrice Mwamba. look at i would have just yeah. lost fabrice you know but we're so grateful no, that it's, it's a record that he died momentarily there you go like 17 so 17 so who cares if he's playing football or not now <laughs> we still have him that is around he's enough yeah. for us. awesome carly keme <laughs> was part of two promotion campaigns he played more than 200 times for our 200 games for wolves promoted to the premier league last season as well as dozens of matches during uh, a series of loan spells so take a bow carly keme you're a winner uh, and then we just want to wish you all the best uh, with whatever you get into mm. next. Let's talk about the CAF Confederation Cup. Now, you know, in by defeated uh, Williamsville by a single goal in Portacord. Alfred, uh, the return leg is on Sunday. Uh, hey, by the way, a bit shaky in that first leg. You worried for this second leg? I worry because um, after the Portacord, after the Portacord game, um, the league is on recess, uh, like we are told, um, postponed indefinitely. Uh, so they're not playing. And because you're not playing, I, I just worry whether they have that level of uh, fitness and um, sharpness to really uh, beat this Williamsville team. Uh, they won the first leg, uh, well, only just, because uh, they were given a bit of a run around by, mm. by the Ivorian opponent, uh, hopefully. But anybody, they are very, very solid campaigners. Um, the most experienced team on the continent, uh, mm. the most successful. And so for them, there's a template for them to do well. So yeah. hopefully they will get the result this weekend. Saw a couple of pictures of um, the traveling party, all looking to ex uh, looking very, very excited. That's and, and that's the spirit. And so just expect them to go to Cote uh, d'Ivoire because the entire the Nigerian team, the you know, Nigerian league and teams playing on the continent depends on the performance they put up mm -hmm. this year. We've lost so much in terms of the coefficient uh, calf and so we'll be presenting two teams. That's not good enough for, for Nigeria. We need to get so many teams on the continent. But the question is, when they go to the continent, do they do very well? So hopefully yeah. they got... An early goal in this game against Williams, what are you uh, considering? We expected them to score more, we, you know, but it didn't happen. They are still top of the group. Yeah, and that's that's what that's what should motivate them. That if they win, they keep their status. Mm -hmm. If they lose, ah, uh, they start they start calculating. And if you look at that group, Alfred, anything they have two away, they have two away games, mm -hmm. back to back away games. Uh -huh. Then I hope uh, game, there you go. Then and, the last game against uh, Car at home. Another opportunity for us to ask administrators of football in the country. We need the league back because if these guys are playing consistent football, you know, week in, week out, it's it's an added advantage when you go for this sort of competition. I I tweeted that um, a few, couple of days back. When yeah. when when is this league? No, we need to know. We need we just need to know because um, this level of uncertainty is not helping anybody. It's not helping anybody. And I think it's like we just each time we press the self destruct button. We'll come back from the World Cup and the whole house want to bring the entire house down. It's not good enough. I mean, we should move. After that, the time we're beginning to enjoy the league. At the time, the league is gathering momentum. Everyone is the the, to the business around the league is even what is suffering. The business around the league. There are people who end their living from the league. From the league. It's not only the players. It's not there. Are, there is a whole lot of support structure around the league. These uh, people, as we speak, are suffering from the league not playing. So they are, people are losing money on a daily basis. People are losing means of livelihood. And it's not good enough. It's not good enough. It's not good enough.
NFF, LMC, Amaju Pini, Christopher Giwa, everybody involved. Can we have our football back, please? It's very important that our football get back on board. Alfred, I must say thank you so much for your time. Always a pleasure. Always a delight. The pleasure is right. mine, always. Our okay. friend with the heart comes over here with so much fun and excitement. Let's go on this break, play some tennis. When we come back, Babatunde Ogunshiku isn't, uh, isn't here to tell us more on, on chess, but um, we'll just go on this time. But when we come back, we'll talk board games. Don't go anywhere, we'll be right back.